Updating your Sunoff Zigbee dongle is usually an annoying task. It typically involves unplugging it from your Home Assistant device, whether it's a Raspberry Pi, a mini PC, or in a Proxmox VM. Connecting it to a desktop computer and using third-party software. Sometimes, this even requires pressing a button on the dongle itself or running complex Python command. It's a disruptive and time-consuming process. In this video, I'll show you a new and much more efficient method that doesn't require you to unplug the dongle at all. We'll use an add-on to update the firmware directly from Home Assistant. Important note. The Type P dongle uses a Texas Instruments chip and needs Z stack firmware. The Type E dongle uses a Silicon Labs chip and needs Ember Zenet firmware. So always check the dongle model and firmware and back up your Zigbee data before flashing. Check the pinned comment below. I'll keep it updated with any new info or changes about this method. I'm currently using my dongle with Zigbee 2 MQTT. This should also work for ZHA as well. Let's check the current firmware version. As you can see, it's outdated. You can check the latest stable firmware versions by visiting the link I've put in the description. Before we start the update, it's always a good idea to create a backup of your configuration. While this process shouldn't cause any data loss, a backup provides peace of mind in case something goes wrong. Now, let's stop Zigbee 2 MQTT so the dongle serial port is free. Next, we need to install the Sunoff Dongle Flasher add-on. This isn't in the default Home Assistant add-on store, so we have to add its repository first. Go to the video description. Copy the repository URL. Now back to Home Assistant add-on store. Click the three dots in the top right corner and select Repositories. Paste the URL and click Add. Once the repository is added, you should now see the add-on in the store. Search for Sunoff Dongle Flasher and install it. Once installed, check those options and click Start. Now, open the add-on web interface from the sidebar. Read the information on the side, it can be helpful. Click Connect. It will try to find your dongle automatically. If it doesn't, that's completely fine. We can connect manually. Select your dongle type from the dropdown. Mine is a Type-P dongle. Next, you need to find the serial path. To do this, go to Settings, then System, and click on Hardware. On the Hardware page, click on All Hardware. Find the entry for your Sunoff dongle in the list. The path will look something like this. Copy this entire path. Go back to the add-on and paste the path you just copied. Click Confirm. The add-on will now display the current firmware of your dongle. As you can see, mine is pretty old, so let's get it updated. Click Change Firmware. The add-on will show you the available options and what it believes is the latest available firmware. But in my case there is a newer version that isn't shown here. Let's get the latest firmware from the official source. The links will be in the description for Type-P and Type-E. Download the newest stable coordinator firmware file. It's this file for the Type-P dongle. Extract the firmware file from the zip archive. Go back to the add-on interface. 
drag and drop the extracted firmware file directly onto the add-on page. Finally, hit the flash button. The flashing process will begin. Do not close this page or disrupt the process. For type E, this is a screenshot of what the change firmware page looks like. As you can see, there are more options, but for most people it's the Zigbee option with the ability to add the file manually. Once the flashing is complete, turn off the add-on and start Zigbee 2 MQTT. Wait for a couple of minutes while it configures the new firmware on your dongle. You can monitor the logs during this time to see the progress. Let's check the firmware version after update. It was updated successfully. To confirm everything is working, check your Zigbee devices. As you can see, my smart switch is now responding and working normally. It's always a good idea to restart Home Assistant after a major operation like this, especially if Zigbee 2 MQTT doesn't start up normally. In my case, it worked nicely. Now that the add-on is configured, updating your Sunoff Zigbee dongle will be quick and easy every time. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Home Assistant, Smart Home, and Home Lab tutorials.